as you all know, I am not Emmanuel Macron. We have to cut emissions. That's the way we solve this problem. That's what's causing the warming in the first place, and we have to invest. I'm not saying give away. I'm saying invest the trillions of dollars that are sitting on the sidelines looking for bankable deals, but not willing to move as fast as we need to move. That is why the United States is pleased to launch the declaration to triple nuclear energy with more than 20 countries from four continents. Now, we are not making the argument to anybody that this is absolutely going to be the sweeping alternative to every other energy source. No, that's not what brings us here. But we know because the science and the reality of facts and evidence tell us that you can't get to net zero 2050 without some nuclear, just as you cannot get there without some use of carbon capture, utilization, and storage. These are just scientific realities. Thank you, Your Excellency. I would like now to invite His Excellency, Klaus Johannes, President of Romania. but also to keep net zero firmly in our sights as we decarbonize power. Domestically, we're aiming to produce up to 24 gigawatts of nuclear power by... Thank you very much. First, uh, I want here to reiterate the fact that um, nuclear energy is a clean energy, and it should be repeated. The IPCC says it is... Um, four times less carbon intensive than gas, for instance, and equivalent to wind. Second, nuclear energy is also a stable and pilotable form of energy, which means that it is a perfect complement to renewables. It's all about regulation and safety, and this is why the role of... Uh... If you want to reconcile jobs creation, strategic autonomy and sovereignty, and low carbon emission, there is nothing more sustainable and reliable than nuclear energy. Because this is not an energy you import, and this is not an energy which pollute. And this is why I do believe that this commitment and the goal of tripling nuclear capacity by 2050, we are endorsing today, sends an extremely powerful signal to the world. Nuclear energy is back, and it is an indispensable solution to the fight against climate change. Thank you, Your Excellency. I would like now to invite His Excellency, Roman Radev, President of Bulgaria. 